Hi, my name is Dr. Frank King. Welcome to Carolina Bison. I actually got into bison. Uh, I was raised on a beef farm. I'm a fourth generation American farmer and there's this, this old saying, you can take the boy off the farm, but the farm always stays in the boy. Back in practice, I read a study about bison and they had less fat than fish and half the calories of beef. And as I looked further, they actually lived four times longer than beef cattle. And as we studied even deeper, we found Native Americans that lived off bison as their primary subsidy, commonly lived to be over a hundred years of age, in health, without their fresh fruits and veggies every day. So while in practice, we started sharing and providing bison to our patients that had high cholesterols and difficult to lower triglycerides. And not only did we find that the bison was lowering the cholesterols and triglycerides better than the drugs, but uh, that people would come back and say, you know, I just feel better. I feel stronger. I have more energy. My headaches are gone. My heartburn's gone. Heck, even my hemorrhoids are gone. What you see behind me is actually bison breeding program that we have been crossing the plains bison with the woods bison up in the northwestern territories of Canada to get the genetic diversity back to the bison again. That's why you see these animals are so large. We actually have the largest bison in the world today here that's over 3,000 pounds. This is our newest addition at Carolina Bison. What is behind me is a very rare European bison called a Wiesent. We have about 26 uh, Wiesents. That is about half the Wiesents that are in North America in total. So we're very privileged to be able to have these animals and to be breeding these animals. Some of the unique reasons why people should eat bison and particularly Carolina bison is because of the uniqueness first of the genetics of the breed itself. Bison have a spine just like a dinosaur that sticks real up high at what we call the spinous processes in the upper part of their back. And this is a sign that they have survived the ice age. These are, in a sense, really dinosaurs. And the genetics of the dinosaurs, that's as far back as we can go to get you know, the good genes that we're looking for to feed and nurture us as human beings. Other reasons is that our bison are grass-fed. You'll see they're eating natural grasses here in the perfect climate of the Carolinas that we can grow all year long, summer, spring, winter, and fall. We use natural homeopathic uh, remedies uh, to treat them. We use great nutrition and minerals to keep their body chemistries in balance. You're getting all the benefits of what you're seeking in naturally raised bison. I've been eating bison now for over 30 years. Being raised on a registered Black Angus farm, many people ask me, what is the difference between the, the, the supposedly this Black Angus that is supposed to be the best tasting beef of all and bison? And I say, no, Black Angus are not the best tasting meat. Uh, bison are because we found that bison actually has more flavor. It has slight sweetness. And there is no gamey taste like many people would think when they look at this large creature of a bison. Yeah, I'm Mike Ellington, a ranch manager at Carolina Bison. We're in the meat business and in the health business and these camels we just recently bought and we're gonna start this year uh, milking camels. I've been in natural health care now for nearly 40 years. One thing we find with all the epigenetic studies that have been done recently is that it is the wild foods that actually feed our healthy genes and help bring us back to our healthy roots as human beings. Here's a, this is a real rare painted camel. He's got blue eyes. So this camel comes from just one place in the world and out of Africa. So it makes him real rare. He's a breeding bull. So he's designed to create more painted camels. And painted camels actually are known to give even more milk, which is what our goal is with all the 18 camels, is to create a, a dairy because the milk, there's research studies all over the world showing how it's helping autism, helping hepatitis, 
and certain cancers as well as anti-aging. You'll see down in this pasture, these are the two humped called Bactrian camels. And the Bactrian camels uh, are longer haired. They're from China. They're from colder weather. And they actually brought the double hump camels and the single hump camels called dromedaries and crossbred them to give them higher vigor and stronger animals to actually build the Great Wall of China. What you see behind me here are some of the rare white bison that we've been collecting. Uh, white bison are very special uh, as far as the Native Americans had a prophecy that said when the white bison come, so will then all colors of people come together as one. Thank you for visiting Carolina Bison. You can always find us at carolinabison.com. I hope this has enriched your life in some ways and we invite you back. Mm -hmm.